All right, Aries. What I'm picking up here is I think this year is really going to be a great year for you. You know, you're really going through some transformations um, this year, especially February, uh, because in the heart of this reading, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. So I think that wheel's finally turning for you, Aries, this year, because I know I'm an Aries myself. So, you know, last year it was kind of a tough year and, you know, you had, you know, a lot of um, bad things go on last year. You know, I do know that Aries, you know, because I had some things go on last year also. Uh, you could have had a bad breakup, you know, last year. And now, you know, it's your time, you know, the universe is turning this wheel for you, you know, for this year, because the universe, you know, knows what you've been through, Aries, you know, and it's your time now. And plus we have the Eight of Pentacles. So you're really, really working on yourself um, this month, uh, Aries, you know, you're really getting down to it and, you know, you kind of you know, listening to your higher self now, you know, as you wasn't before, but you're really going through this, um, you know, higher vibration, you're going through this real good transformation here, Aries, and that's really good to see, because uh, you we have the Queen of Wands here, so this is you, this is you here, you know, you're sat on your throne, you're ready to take on what comes at you because you've been through it and you've got, you know, you won there and, you know, you're not taking any BS anymore, you know, and you're really just concentrating on you and, you know, focusing on what you truly want, Aries, you know, and that's really good to see here. And as I was saying, this is a really big transformation because we've got far major arcanas within this reading so you're really getting into your own Aries uh, this February mid-month. You know, you're, you're starting to see good changes happening here. And we've got the death card. So it's like you're going through, you know, a rebirth here. You know, uh, you're going really through this because it's your time now to really wake up and realise who you truly are now, Aries, you know, and I think it's with all the planetary uh, things what are going on also, and you have the star card here, so, you know, this is having faith, this is believing and hoping things are going to go great for you, Aries, and I really think, you know, it's starting to show now, you know, because it has been a real kind of a rough time for Aries, you know, but I think this year is going to be a great year for us, I really do, you know, and you're trusting in yourself more now, and I think you're kind of listening to your, you know, intuition more, and you're trusting in the universe, you know, and that's a really good thing here, Aries, you know, because you went through a dramatic time in the past, you know, and you had to go through this, you know, to come to where you're at now, you know, because if you didn't go through this tower, you know, would you have awoken to who you truly are? You know, we have to go through the bad times, you know, to realise who we truly are, that we're, you know, truly beautiful human beings, you know, and you're really working on yourself now, Aries, and just concentrating on your progress, you know, and your, you know, life and how you want life to be now, Aries. You know, it's all about you now. And, you know, things are really going to be fantastic for you here. You know, I'm really feeling excited. And, you know, I'm excited myself as well because I'm Aries. So, you know, it really looks good here. I'm not picking up any love here, Aries. You know, this is your love reading, but I'm not picking up anything here. It's just all about you and we're really working on you and, you know, working on what you truly want now, you know. And I think you're not maybe focusing on love um, in the mid months of February. You know, you're really just working on yourself and building up yourself. You could um, 
also have your own business, you know, or you're wanting to start your own business, you know, and you're just focusing on your life and how you want your life to be, you know, and, you know, your life is really going to be, you know, really, really good here, Aries. I'm really excited for you, you know. Everything in the cards is here for you, you know. It's just time for you now to, you know, grab it because it's here for you now the universe is giving you this now so take it grab it you know while you can you know and you're really feeling good this mid-month you know you're in your energy you're in your fire energy and you're ready just to slay all day here Aries you know and you're just like really optimistic, you know, about the future. And I'm really, really happy for you, Aries. It looks fantastic here. But I'm not picking up no love. But um, this was your love reading. But we'll go into the general and see if we can pick up any love here for you, Aries. But well done. Well done. It's your time, Aries. It's our time. Because, you know, we've been through it a bit, you know, and the only way is up now. The only way is up, look. The Wheel of Fortune and the Star Card. Things are all turning out how they're supposed to turn out for you here, Aries. And, you know, you're going through a rebirth as well to who you truly are. You're starting to realise you know, who you truly are, you know, and what's your purpose here on earth, you know, you know, it's a really beautiful thing here, Aries, so well done, you should be proud of yourself. So what I'm going to do, Aries, I'm going to go into your general and see if we can pick up anything there for you. But yeah, feeling really optimistic for us all and exciting, you know, because Things are really going to take off for, you know, us finally. It's about time. <laughs> right, let me see if I can pick up anything in love for you, Aries. Mm, the death card again. Wow, Aries, you're going through this real big transformation here. This uh, rebirth. Right, okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. Now, I'm seeing here, Aries, um, some of you uh, could be in a marriage and, you know, you're really uh, wanting to get out of this marriage because, you know, it's kind of um, become a bit too, you know, toxic and um, Maybe somebody's been really trying to control you here, Aries, because we've got the devil. So this could be a relationship or marriage, Aries. And you're ready just to leave this because, you know, it's really, you know, because as I was saying in the last reading, you know, it's all about you now, Aries, and your transformation. And I think this marriage or relationship, it's going to hold you back. You can see how you know, these people are chained to this, you know, energy here and, you know, it's not going to do them any good, you know, um, holding on to this energy. So I think you're really wanting to break free from this relationship or marriage, Aries, because it's not going to do you any good and it's going to just stop your progress, you know, you're going through a rebirth and, you know, your partner's probably just acting the same way you know, you're, you're waking up now, Aries, and they're, you know, still asleep here, and, you know, they have probably treated you bad, you know, and since you're going through this transformation, you know, you're starting to realise what you truly worth, Aries, and, you you know, you are worth a lot more, you know, and you, you're waking up now to the truth of things, you know, and this death card, this is an ending, so I can see, you know, you wanting to break out of this relationship or marriage, you know, because as I say, it's a marriage because we've got the hierophant here. You know, this is a marriage. This is, you know, uh, institution of marriage also, you know. So y'all try to make a decision here of what to do. Do you stop in this relationship or marriage or do you take the world by storm? 
and go for what you truly want now, Aries, because, you know, this person, you know, I think they've held you back, you know, they've held your progress back here and you're starting to realise that now, Aries, you know, and they've probably, you know, <clears throat> messed up your emotions here as well, you know, that's why you know, you, your head's everywhere here, in a way, with this person, you know, um, they've tried to control you a lot here, Aries, and, you know, you're just figuring out now what's the best action for you to take, you know, to finally let go of this marriage or relationship here, Aries, you know, you really, um, realizing who you are and your true potential here Aries you know and this person you know has kind of held you back you know and they haven't really in the past brought out the best in you here you know but you're starting to realize that now Aries look and you're here this is the overall energy this is the page of wands you know you're ready to just go out on your own here, you know, you're ready just to have this new beginning, you know, this new fresh start, what the universe is putting there for you, Aries, you know, it's all a completely new adventure here, you know, once you let go of this relationship or marriage, you know, or you could have just let go of it recently, Aries, you know, and you're just ready just to take the world by storm here, you know, you're ready, you're excited, you're ready for this new beginning, you know, what the universe has brought to you here, because it's our time now, Aries, you know, we're going through this transformation, and we can't be, you know, with someone, or, you know, uh, hold on to past energy here, because it's going to hold us back, it's going to hold our progress back here, so you're ready, you're just ready now, you know, you're ready just to go out there and get what you truly deserve, Aries, you know, and well done for you here, you know, it's about time as well, you know, because we can't be with anyone or holding on to past energy when it's just going to hinder our progress, Aries, you know, and you are coming to the decision now and you can see this person here he's got the world right in his, the palm of his hands you know Aries the world the world's your oyster now so just grab it and take it while the opportunity is presented to you here Aries you know <clears throat> so that that's really I, I can't say enough Aries you know you're really going through a lovely awakening here you know and you're starting to realize who you truly are you know and it's a really fantastic thing you know when you're really starting to feel a lot more good about yourself and appreciate yourself more here Aries you know so that's a really beautiful thing just keep going now Aries you know if this relationship marriage is holding you back you're not happy maybe there's been control there you know the universe is saying finally let it go you know or it could have just you know it could have happened in the past but you know there's residual energy there you know and you're finally letting go of this and that's a beautiful thing you're letting go of this devil energy you know what's holding you back because once you let this go completely and you heal from this wow the you know the opportunities are endless here for you Aries so I don't know what else to say congratulations you know finally <laughs> but anyway uh we'll pull some uh, more cards uh, for guidance for you Aries and um, since you're going through this transformation, I'm going to pull some native, I'm going to pull you a native spirit or oracle card here. And this is to do with Native American uh, culture here. As you know, I have that in my ancestry, you know, from my dad's side. So we'll see what the native spirit wants you to know here Aries 
because you're really starting to come into your own now. So let's see what the native spirit wants you to know. Right, and your native spirit wants you to know flowing river. Wow, see, your life's going to just start flowing now how you want, Aries. You know, finally, look how beautiful that card is. Right, and we'll see what this says in the book for you, Aries, flowing a river. Right, Aries, so it says flowing river. <clears throat> so this card means everything is falling into place. Exactly, look what I was saying about this transformation. Because you aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life. It's time to let go, definitely. Time to let go of this energy, this devil energy here, as I was saying. Because, you know, once you let go, wow. Yeah, so it's time to let go. You're entering a period of a gracious ease and flow, Aries. All is unfolding perfectly and with good timing. When you're in a state of flow, you aren't pushing the river to go faster and you aren't swimming against it. See, you're going to start going with the flow now of the universe, Aries. And it says, let go the shore and enjoy the ride. And the native spirit wants you to know Rivers have personalities and carry energy, just as animals and plants do. From the Morris to the Australian Aborigines and to other native cultures around the world, it is believed that it's important to listen to the language of the river. If you aren't feeling the smooth currents of life, it might mean that you are trying to control situations that you're being self-critical or judgmental. The way to move into the flow, <clears throat> pardon me, is through gratitude and appreciation. And by allowing others to support and help you, heed the Native American saying, it's best to ride the horse the direction that is that it's going. So Aries, <clears throat> now, you know, you're going by what your higher self is wanting for you now you know as I was saying it's a beautiful rebirth and this card you know it's the right card the universe is you know confirming for you that you know what I was saying has been right and it's really really good so yeah it is best to ride the horse the direction that it is going this means that when the card flowing river chooses you you are being told to let go and go with the flow, exactly, with the devil. If there is something or someone you need to forgive, Aries, this is your time. This is also the time to forgive yourself and just let go, exactly. And that is a beautiful thing. So, Aries, everything's going to start flowing now in your life, how you've always wanted it to flow. Because as I was saying before, you know, it's Aries time now. You know, we've been through it a bit and the universe is easing it up for us now to, you know, let everything flow how it's supposed to. But only when you let go of this devil energy for good, Aries. Yeah, Aries, so always go by the flow of your higher self and what the universe's vibration is trying to put you on and what path, you know, the universe, ancestors and guides, you know, trying to put you on from now on, now on because, you know, 